Thanksgiving as we welcome you to Percival Molson on the slopes of Mount Royal. It's the Argos and Alouettes in game one of our Thanksgiving doubleheader. History awaiting number 13, Anthony Calvillo. We expect he will be the all-time CFL and pro football passing leader. Away we go, and it's Perry Floyd from inside the Montreal five-yard line, and Floyd takes a heavy jolt at the 21-yard line. <laughs> He dropped, but Calvillo has to throw that away. Nothing was available, and Ricky Foley was closing down. Pressure. Going deep, looking for Watkins, and Watkins trying to readjust to the ball. It's incomplete. They're getting pressure. We saw Ricky Foley on the last play. Flemons was up there as well on this, on this play. Back to back, two and outs. Stamps came into that game intent on making sure that Pringle didn't get the record on the, their watch. Owens will pick it up. That'll be uh, no yards. And he squirts through. And he might score. Chad Owens gets a block. And he's gone. Touchdown, Toronto. 58-yard touchdown return for Chad Owens. Watch the spin move when he finally does pick the football, the bouncing football up right there as he spins through the tackle, and then he's gone with one man to beat, and he gets the block he needs from Lynn J. Shell at the end of the return, and Chad Owens finds the end zone. First punt return this year for a touchdown. Well, now that might change the focus of the afternoon. Second and six. Dalvillo over the middle. Jamel Richardson brought down by McCullough again, but that's an Alouette first down inside the Toronto 30 to the leading receiver in the CFL. What do they do this time? Gavillo crushed and tripped up. Good sure tackle by the blitzing defensive halfback Lynn J. Shell. And so the field goal unit has to come on. Ricky Santos is the holder. And Sean White puts it through. Looking for SJ Green and nearly picked off. Lin J. Shell read the play. There is a flag and Galvillo helped up. Change the foul. Ball. Roughing the passer. Toronto, number 98. Half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. Well, Roten with a costly penalty. Side. He might score. He does. Touchdown. Third touchdown of the year for Adrian McPherson. Pressure on the kick. Owen shielding again. Holy crossing midfield. So down to the 45 with 34.6 left. As you mentioned, this would be the longest of the year for Prefontaine. From 39 yards out. And he's got it. Plenty to spare. And the Toronto Argonauts take a lead to the locker room after 30 minutes. Richardson on the day, up to 35 on the year. First down, Whitaker over the backfield. Bounces off Byron Parker and has another first down. Throws for 77 more yards. First down, big to Whitaker, and Gavillo does toss it. And complete. There's some extra yards. And another Montreal first down. The catch made by S.J. Green. Back at the 19-yard line. Pressure on. Calvillo steps up. He'll take off. He's going to run it in. Touchdown. Anthony Calvillo has his first of the year. That's no way to set a passing record. His focus is on this game and the race for first place in the East Division. And then that proves it right there. Looks like it's going to be the fourth quarter when Anthony Calvillo becomes the all-time leading passer. Final play, third quarter. Second and a long five. He's got Jamel Richardson. Still going. It might be right here. He's passed the ball. Anthony Calvillo is the all-time Canadian Football League and pro football passing leader. Thanksgiving Day 2011 history made at Percival Molson, AC, all time.
And a spectacular play by Jamel Richardson that will get well lost in the euphoria of one of the great Canadian Football League records. 18 years, all the adversity, and now all time. What a day it's been here in Montreal. Anthony Colvio making CFL and pro football history. As the Alouettes win to pull back into a tie with Winnipeg, 29-19 the final as they extend to 9-5 on the year.